Hi guys, uh, today let us quickly look at how do we upgrade uh, Citrix license server. Uh, when I say upgradation of Citrix license server, it's product upgradation, right? So um, I have a current license server uh, which is uh, 11.14. I'll say current license server and we want to upgrade it to eleven dot one six and that is the latest version that what I can see in Citrix downloads. So this version eleven dot one four uh, it got installed uh, when I installed a license server using uh, Zenapp uh, and Zen desktop 7.15 um, and what we have uh, now is uh, uh, the latest version uh, which is 7.16 uh, so but before we get into the uh, upgradation process uh, let's try to understand what is new in uh, 7.16 right so um, as, as expected uh, Citrix has removed uh, this uh, uh, license administration console so which means that uh, the license administration console uh, is removed for this version so if you and I have to, to see if I upgrade whether it still will be there but um, what they say is they had removed this license administration console which we were using uh, in the earlier versions right and uh, there's an increase in the there is a change in the version of uh, apache and there is a change in the ssl version and then uh, uh, older uh, c plus suite support uh, i mean the, this is another change okay so um, let me quickly go ahead and uh, um, see if i can download the latest version of uh, citrix license server so i'm here in the citrix portal and here in the downloads license server and you see this license server version uh, 11.16.06.0 right and build 3.1.0 so it supports all the platforms 2012 2016 and 2019 and uh, you can quickly download this it's around 56 uh, mb5 I accept the license agreement so we can close this window it says I'm not sure if it got downloaded I'm just waiting no let me try once again Uh, you don't have access to this page so what does it mean oh, I need to check if I logged into this yes I okay so I haven't okay okay why don't I have access to this So it's licensing download and click here to download this and download this file. Accept the license agreement. Let us see this time how it goes. Okay, so there you go. Right, so for some reason that was playing with us, but anyway, so we successfully downloaded this. I'll copy this one and I'll put that on my license server.
So uh, I downloaded and copied this into on, onto my license server. Now you see uh, this is a file and we extracted it. So I see two files. One is exe file, the other one is msi file. So you can use, I think, either one. So let me go with the exe and uh, okay. So before that, so if you look at the version of uh, the license server here, it is 11.14.11 build. Now, so we are going to go and up upgrade this. Right. So let me run this as an administrator. Right, the setup wizard will upgrade the existing license server on your computer. Click here to upgrade. So it detects your current version and it prompts, or it says rather, it says that you know uh, we should be upgrading this. So upgradation in progress. So this is done now. So what does it say is, okay, it's the default administrator. So you can log into your administrator using this credentials. Okay, so there's an option here to launch license uh, manager, set of licenses manager from here itself. And then of course this is uh, CIP. Uh, okay, so we'll close this. Now let us go uh, to our, uh, what do you call it, a start menu and then see, uh, you see your uh, Citrix license manager and I think uh, it removed my license administration console. Oh, that's what I'm seeing here, All right? So let me launch my Citrix license manager and continue this website. Let me use my domain credentials, ctx slash administrator. So that's what I used. And then password. right so there you go now you have uh, registered the license server okay so this is not needed for us now now this is how your license manager uh, you know portal looks like right so uh, you have startup licenses and then you have Zenabs and desktop advanced licenses 99 standard um, again this is desktop and apps and desktops and premium standard so uh, this you used to see in the dashboard uh, in the earlier case that you used to have a, a license administration console and from there you used to see it right then history and usage you can select uh, you know what is that you have uh, how many licenses are used and then install licenses uh, this is the same option that what you had earlier and then upgrade licenses right so it is it's almost similar but uh, the there are changes that which has happened if i go to these settings here on the top uh, then you can manage your role based access control from here so you can add your groups and other stuff right so you can add a user or group and you can change the account type right role administrator or user only two roles and then server configuration you can see what ports are used and configured and then um, statistics so this is part of your you know the settings that whatever you see here option and then these are notifications so no active alerts if you have any alerts that will be shown and your host name and then ip address and so on right so that's all I have. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.